Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, one suspected dengue death confirmed. And in sports, Brian Lara admitted to hospital. Pika to roll out online application. The Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency, Pika, will shortly roll out its online application systems for immigration and citizenship services. Pika's online passport application portal was recently tested by delegates at the 8th Biennial Diaspora Conference held from June 16 to 20 at the Jamaica Conference Center downtown Kingston. The agency was one of several government agencies that offered express service and government-related business at the Government at Your Service Pavilion, a fast-track one-stop shop exclusively at the conference. Director of Customer Service, Pika Stephanie Gordon, told GIS News that the new system will allow Jamaicans to apply for or renew their passport online at www.pika.gov.jm, pay for the service, and have it delivered to them. One suspected dengue death confirmed. The Health Ministry has confirmed that a child is suspected to have died from dengue fever and there are more suspected cases of the mosquito-borne virus in western Jamaica. In a media release Tuesday afternoon, opposition spokesman on health Dr. Dayton Campbell raised concern that there could be another dengue outbreak in Jamaica. He claimed that a nine-year-old child died from dengue fever at Falmouth Hospital in Trelawney. In addition, he said he had been reliably informed that the pediatric ward at Cornwall Regional Hospital has several suspected cases of the fever. In a subsequent interview with RGR News, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jacqueline Bissasor McKenzie confirmed the information was in fact correct. Dr. Bissasor McKenzie said the Health Ministry is awaiting final tests on samples taken from the child. Teacher at prominent high school charged with rape of 16-year-old student. The Westmoreland Police have arrested and charged a 36-year-old male educator at a prominent high school in the parish with raping a 16-year-old female student of the institution. The accused was scheduled to appear in the Westmoreland Parish Court on Tuesday, June 25. According to police reports, the offence was allegedly committed at the school on Friday, February 1, 2019. The police say further investigations are being conducted into other sexually related offences that have been reportedly been committed against other female students at the same learning institution. And in sports, Brian Lara admitted to hospital in Mumbai. West Indies batting legend Brian Lara was admitted to a hospital in Mumbai Tuesday after complaining of chest pain, Indian media reports and sources said. The 50-year-old Trinidadian was rushed to hospital after he complained of discomfort during a promotional event, the Press Trust of India PTI news agency said, quoting a source close to the player. Lara was in Mumbai to take part in events organized by Star Sports, the official broadcasters of the ongoing Cricket World Cup. Quote, he complained of chest pain and uneasiness this morning and was sent for a routine checkup. He's fine now, end quote, a source at the broadcaster who asked not to be named, told AFP. Russell vows to return stronger, replaced by Sunil Ambre. West Indies all-rounder Andre Russell has been sidelined for the remainder of Cricket World Cup with a knee injury. Russell is set to undergo surgery on his left knee this week and should return to Jamaica within days. The 31-year-old has had trouble with both knees in recent years. Russell was limited to playing in four of the West Indies' first six games, but regularly expressed knee discomfort while batting, bowling and fielding and was forced off the field on a number of occasions. He told the Jamaica Observer yesterday he is downhearted to be out but is confident that he will return stronger after the operation. Top order batsman Sunil Ambri, who hit a career best 148 in the Tri-Series in Ireland last month, has been approved by the International Cricket Council as Russell's replacement. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.